For another year, the California Ironman Triathlon is taking over the capital city on a late October weekend. And much like years past, competitors faced some serious weather as they ran, swam, and biked around Sacramento. The race has been going on the entire day, and ABC 10's Garish Balsanga spoke to runners and even some fans who were determined to overcome the challenges. It started off in the American River and ended up here at Capitol Mall. The Ironman Triathlon California bringing the excitement and also the rain. Part of Salcedo, you are an Ironman. One by one, these ultra elite athletes saw their months long hard work pay off as they crossed the finish line in downtown Sacramento. The swim was beautiful, the bike was awesome, and then the run happened. For Tommy Sung, Gumpo, this was the first time competing in Ironman in the U.S. He was prepared for anything, but the rain took the challenge of a 140.6 mile race to another level. We ran more than half in the rain, so it was swim, bike, run, swim. <laughs> After the bike, I was like, wow, this is a perfect day. Maybe I jinxed it. The rainstorm made things difficult, but it didn't put an end to the Ironman race, which saw more than 3,000 athletes start bright and early and put their bodies to the test. Friends and families close by cheering the athletes on. It's really awesome seeing everyone kind of push themselves. It's really inspiring, honestly. Honestly, this is the epitome of athletic achievement. These group of friends are part of the Marina Run Club in San Francisco, traveling to support their friend. Came here to see our good friend, uh, Christopher Maloney, who's been training for this for nine months. We're incredibly proud of him. It's an astounding achievement, so it's incredible. It was worth coming here and cheering our friend despite all those challenges. As the athletes accomplish new feats, the city of Sacramento enjoying the attention Ironman brings as it is estimated to bring in $15 million into the economy. Local businesses tell ABC 10 the past few days have been busier, but the weather Sunday has kept people away. The Ironman bringing excitement to the city and the hope it will be a long-term partnership. Is this inspiring you guys to maybe jump in? Oh, for sure. Feeling pretty inspired too. And these incredible athletes continue to pour into the finish line, and they're expecting a lot more to show up during the late night hours. Wow, what an incredible feat. That was our guard Paul Sunga reporting out there at the finish line. And on average, it takes a person about 13 hours to finish an Ironman triathlon. Yeah, it's a big commitment. Anyone who's been following the Ironman competition here in Sacramento knows, though, that this is not the first time we've seen significant weather impacts. Two years ago, the race was canceled because of the extreme rain. Organizers initially shortened the race before they decided to just go ahead and pull the plug altogether. And as Garsh Paul alluded to in that story, the city does want the race to find a permanent home here in Sacramento. Visit Sacramento has partnered with Ironman to bring the race back here every year until 2028. That deal was struck in July. And one last thing before we move on, there will be lingering road closures that could impact your commute tomorrow if you work downtown. A section of the Capitol Mall between 5th and 9th Street will stay closed until 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon.